morning, everyone, and welcome to Holy Rosary Church, Mary, Mother of God Parish, that together to celebrate the sacred mysteries of our faith. We begin this Mass in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Thank you. Let us call to mind our own faults, failings, and sins, and ask God for the most gracious and abundant mercy. Jesus, you are the true light of the world. The Lord have mercy. Jesus, you are the truth of the gospel. Christ have mercy. Jesus, you are the wisdom of the saints. The Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, we may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Kings. The Queen of Sheba, having heard of Solomon's fame, came to test him with subtle questions. She arrived in Jerusalem with a very numerous retinue and with camels bearing spices, a large amount of gold and precious stones. She came to Solomon and questioned him on every subject in which she was interested. King Solomon explained everything she had asked about, and there remained nothing hidden from him that he could not explain to her. When the Queen of Sheba witnessed Solomon's great wisdom, the palace he had built, the food at his table, the seating of his ministers, the attendance and garb of his waiters, his banquet service, and the burnt offerings he offered in the temple of the Lord, she was breathless. The report I heard in my country about your deeds and your wisdom is true, she told the king. Though I did not believe the report until I came and saw with my own eyes, I have discovered that they were not telling me the half. Your wisdom and prosperity surpassed the report I heard. Blessed are your men, bless these servants of yours, whom stand before you always and listen to your wisdom. Blessed be the Lord your God, whom it has pleased to place you on the throne of Israel. In his enduring love for Israel, the Lord has made you king to carry out judgment and justice. Then she gave the king 120 gold talents, a very large quantity of spices and precious stones. Never again did anyone bring such an abundance of spices as the queen of Sheba gave to King Solomon. The word of the Lord. Today's responsorial psalm is, the mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. Commit to the Lord your way. Trust in him and he will act. He will make justice dawn for you like the light. Bright as the noonday shall be your vindication. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. The mouth of the just man tells of wisdom and his tongue utters what is right. The law of his God is in his heart, and his steps do not falter. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. The salvation of the just is from the Lord. He is their refuge in time of distress. As the Lord helps them and delivers them, he delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus summoned the crowds again and said to them, Hear me, all you who understand. Nothing that enters one from the outside can defile that person. But the things that come from within are what defile. When he got home away from the crowds, his disciples questioned him about the parable. And he said to them, Are even you likewise without understanding? Do you not realize that everything that goes into a person from the outside cannot defile, since it enters not the heart, but the stomach, and passes into the latrine? Thus he declared, All foods clean. But what comes out of a man, that which is defiles him, is from within the man, from his heart, come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. All these evils come from within, and they defile the gospel of the Lord. The Queen of Sheba came from the south to listen to the wisdom of Solomon. Perhaps we remember that when Solomon took the throne, God asked him, ask anything you want from me, and I will give it to you. Do you want kingdoms to be subjected to you? Do you want lots of wealth and big armies? Do you want uh, this, that, and everything else? God promised him whatever he wanted, he could have. And remember what he asked for? He asked for one thing, to give him wisdom, an understanding heart, to know between what is right and wrong. That is the wisdom Queen of Sheba came to listen to and was very impressed about. So wisdom is so important. And Jesus even speaks of that wisdom inside here in the gospel today. That without that wisdom, without knowing, loving, and serving God, evil things can come from us. It's not what we eat that makes us evil. It's just evil things come from us, like, like evil thoughts and chastity and theft, and murder and adultery and so on and so forth. These things come without wisdom. So today then, let us pray that we too will receive the wisdom of God to know him, love him, and to serve him every day of our lives. May I invite you now to stand and together let us offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord. Today's response is, Lord, hear our prayer. That the church will preach and teach with authority, we pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer. That leaders of all nations will work to promote the common good and true justice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the containment and eradication of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, especially the deceased members of the Good and Williams families for whom this Mass is being offered, may they be at peace with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother, in the wisdom of our hearts, that she may hear and present our petitions to her divine Son. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death.
by the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbles himself to share in our humanity. Blessed dear Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given in human hands and made it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this mind to offer for the divine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humbled and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. With the wisdom of God, let us stand and pray that your sacrifice and mine will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O Lord our God, you once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty. Grant, we pray, that we may become new for us now the sacrament of our eternal life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and archangels and thrones and dominations and all of the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we all acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like to do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, handed it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be shed for you and for many for forgiveness of sins through this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, humbly we pray that we, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, St. Joseph, her devoted husband, all the blessed apostles, martyrs, and saints have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
wisdom of God, we pray as Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostle, Peace I leave and my peace I give you, not in our sins but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you this morning. And in wisdom, let us share that peace with one another. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. of God who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are we today who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Sons, and thank the Lord for his mercy, his wonders for the children of men, where he satisfies the thirsty soul and the hungry he fills with good things. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant that we, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in the wisdom of Christ. Thanks be to God. <laughs>